We Americans are aware of what's happening in Cambodia and South Vietnam because this country has a big stake there. But Bangladesh is a different case. There is no major American involvement or commitment there, nothing which approaches the needs of that young, impoverished nation. And so the memory of what happened there may already be growing dim in many of us. But what did happen there will never be forgotten by the people of Bangladesh, especially the women. It was in villages like this that the Bengali liberation struggle caught fire. And it was in villages like this that the Pakistan army took its revenge. The villagers still speak of it. The men telling their stories of fighting, the children telling their stories of running and hiding. It is the women who are silent. Women like Saira. She is 16 years old, a widow, and pregnant with the child of a Pakistani soldier. Like thousands of women throughout Bangladesh, she is carrying a child she does not want. She says that her husband was in the Mukti Bahini. He was a commander of the force, you know, in the village. And uh, this army people were looking for him, and they had broken into her house to take him away, actually. And when they were dragging him out of the house, she started screaming and protesting and uh, crying, you know, trying to hold back her husband. And one of them turned back and raped her in front of her husband, who was uh, forced to sit and watch with guns pointed at him. And later on, she like said many that women who she didn't were raped by Pakistani soldiers. Sayura is in disgrace among her people. Her parents take care of her, but they are certain that no man will ever marry her. Since January, many of the women ravaged by the Pakistani troops have been living in this house. They're being cared for by a government-sponsored women's rehabilitation group. Almost all of the women here are pregnant. They are very young, some only 13 years old. In a few cases, their parents have abandoned them. In others, their husbands have rejected them. About 70 have had abortions, and those who have had their babies plan to give them away. Most of the girls here were held prisoner by the Pakistani troops in the army barracks. For weeks, each day and each night, they were forced to submit to whatever the soldiers demanded. This is Rushanara, 14 years old and seven months pregnant. She was abducted from her home in Dhaka and taken to the army barracks where she remained for three months. She says there were nights when as many as 30 soldiers forced themselves on her. Sheikh Mujib Rahman has said that these women are heroines. But politics, the war, and even the liberation are not really the concerns of these women. They are the innocent victims of war, and the children they bear will share in their grief. This is Liz Trotta, NBC News, in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Many of the soldiers who attacked those women are among the 100,000 Pakistani prisoners of war held by India. India has offered Pakistan what it calls unconditional talks.